Hi everybody, uh, this article was posted on June 10th, it's called the 10 failed attempts to control the internet. The topic that was dangling at the forefront of most Americans minds at the end of 2011 and even seeping into the beginning of 2012 was the fate of the internet. The Stop Online Piracy Act discussed further below whipped citizens into a frenzy and led to the largest internet based protest to date. In light of a slightly reworked, renamed SOPA's emergence, it is worth reviewing 10 failed attempts by American government to control the Internet. Number 1. Communications Decency Act in 1996. The portions of the Communications Decency Act that were the mo almost the most controversial were the ones that attempted to regulate Internet pornography. A judiciary panel stated that the bill would infringe upon First Amendment rights and the bill was squashed. Number two, Child Online Protection Act. Though the Child Online Protection Act was passed in 1998, a federal injunction claiming that the language was too broad caused the law to never take effect. Number three, Internet School Filtering Act. While many of the Internet School Filtering Act's point were eventually enacted through other legislation that did pass, the original bill was struck down. Number four, the Deleting Online Predators Act. The Deleting Online Predators Act of 2006 was, would have prohibited the use of social networking sites on school or library computers. Critics argued, however, that the bill would also limit access to educationally useful information, and as such, the bill languished. Number five, Intellectual Property Enforcement Act. Proposed during the 110th session of Congress in an attempt to shore up American intellectual property laws, the Intellectual Property Enforcement Act would have allowed the Department of Justice to press civil ch charges against those suspected of infringement. Number six, Cybersecurity Act. Though rewarded versions of the Cybersecurity Act have been in reintroduced, each year since the original bill was drafted, public outcry over the unprecedented level of control it would grant the government what has kept any of them from passing. Number 7. Protecting Cyberspace as a National Asset Act, 2010. Senator Joe Lieberman introduced the Protecting Cyberspace as a National Asset Act in 2010. He then promptly incurred the wrath of critics for citing China's similar policies in an attempt to portray the bill as standard government procedure. Number 8. Combating, co combating Online Infringement and Counterfeits Act. Activist organizations launched a full-scale attack on COICA, and Oregon Democrat Ron Wyden publicly announced his intention to block the bill, though it did pass the Senate Judiciary Committee. It was killed off before it ever reached fruition. Number 9. Protect IP Act. The Preventing Real Online Threats to Economic Creativity and Theft of Intellectual Property Act, a rewrite of the failed COICA introduced by Vermont Senator Patrick Lee, Lee was one of the 2011 targets of Internet activists. The protest launched by major internet players led to the postponement of the bill until the issues were resolved, granting Americans a temporary victory. Number 10. Stop Online Piracy Act. Arguably the biggest rallying point for activists in 2011 and early 2012, SOPA led to full and partial protest that shut down major websites in January of 2012. The bill was postponed until and two, there is a wider agreement on a solution. Entertainment industry heavyweights have not given up on their crusade to end piracy. Rather than changing their business model to adapt to the needs of, of a changing world, they've chosen to attack the civil liberties of law-abiding citizen Americans. Combined with cybersecurity directives such as CISPA and a rapidly developing cyber war arms race, internet freedom remains under continuous attack. The above 10 initiatives have been defeated for now, but constant vigilance and activism will be necessary to thwart the latest round of freedom-smashing legislation being ushered in the name of anti-piracy and in internet security. Uh, so this is very important, folks, that we need to continue to protect uh, the freedom of the internet, because if we don't have the internet, 
and if it goes and, or it's controlled by the government and all the information is censored then we have a huge problem because the internet is should be open and free to the public to use and all information should be accessible all right you know we need to start saying enough is enough with these big corporations uh, big monopolies, entertainment industries trying their hardest to basically suppress the amount of information or suppress the way how people access music and videos and, and everything else. All right, we don't want the government to get into our lives and uh, tell us what we can and cannot do. We all know that, uh, especially on the internet. And of course we all know about CISPA, the Cyber Internet Security Act. Our Protection Act. Uh, we have to continue to press forward and stop these bills in Congress no matter what because we the people need to stand up for our rights and stand up against these attacks on our freedom of sharing information, sharing mu music, videos because the day of internet sharing or information sharing is growing and growing and growing and expanding every single day. It's not stopping. Technology is advancing very, very fast. We got smartphones now. We got iPads and uh, Toshiba Thrives, the Android tablets. Uh, people are accessing the internet everywhere they go. And soon, all right, it's going to get to a point where the government is really going to start cracking down as much as possible to stop the evolution of the internet, stop the evolution of technology. But they're in a losing battle right because the people are, are finally doing what they can do all of us together to stop this madness to stop these corporate entities from suppressing free speech so everybody out there take a look at the article I'll post it down in the description and have a beautiful day everyone take care